What's up everybody, it's your boy Ryan. And this is the Thunder Channel on Atropix. So I'm out in the woods in a cabin and um, you know, I, I'm responding to an email that I recently got about um, you know, the, the concept of fixing your baseline or optimizing your baseline. And, and the user of the email suggested that uh, all that needed to be done to optimize baseline was to upregulate quote receptors. Um, and I want to make a point that that's sort of shooting for nothing. You don't really even know if receptors are, are the target, with which which transmitter systems receptors are you are you talking about, um, and some more nuance. But something for people to think about about energy baseline optimization. Um, in the meantime, as you guys know, Cortex Auto Ship is finally here. Um, means you can go get Cortex. Um, where is it? Okay, um, at livecortex.com and have it auto shipped to your door every month um it's really awesome for people that constantly get cortex just do auto ship you just set it and forget it you actually get it for cheaper and it just auto processes and auto ships every 30 days and you can manually renew it quicker too if you want to you basically have full control in a panel once you sign up for it, it takes about a minute do auto ship cortex uh very powerful nootropic sack to have shipped to your door every 30 days keep your brain optimal um vtp also upgraded keep that in mind for those of you guys trying to raise test uh the six month intensive and the three and a half month intensive these are hands-on uh, results driven nootropics uh consults with me really biohacking energy performance and nootropics consults slots are open for both of those um and you know we got a bunch of other really great products at livecortex.com not the least of which for brand new people to nootropics is nootropics ground zero get it all livecortex.com okay so yeah no like the idea of um optimizing your baseline isn't necessarily just about trying to upregulate receptors um you know i guess my major point is like don't shoot for nothing you need to know if if, if like dopamine receptor function is down before you work on it um, you could suspect it is because you just have no none of the characteristics of, of motivation or libido or sex drive. Um, yeah, you know, if you read up on lo lo locomotion activity, dopamine locomotion activity, and, and what how that translates to human behavior, if you, if you feel like you have deficiencies in those things, then maybe dopamine receptors would be something to target. Um, if you have an excessive resistance to stimulants, then dopamine receptors may be the target. Uh, but optimizing energy baseline is, is far more nuanced, far more sophisticated than just targeting neurotransmitter receptor function. Um, receptor function can, can be optimized, but transporter, transporter function is also like a real nuanced, uh, it's, like a, it's like the next frontier and it's something I've been fussing with for three years, and it's really advanced my level of nootropics usage and understanding and therefore benefits. You know, the, the, the transporter's job is to clear neurotransmitters from, from the extracellular space, and in that extracellular space is where they can affect you positively, neurotransmitters, and, and get you results. Um, there are other transporters besides certain DAT for serotonin and dopamine. There's PMAT, there's OCT3, both of which have characteristics on a high capacity type to clear those neurotransmitters from the extracellular space and therefore have you existing without them for the most part um, and not, not, not being able to actually produce results. So it gets a lot more nuanced, but energy optimization, man, like when I do consults with people on a three and a half month or six month basis, I literally need to look at every single facet of their blood work from hemoglobin A1C, their, their prior three month recording of, of glucose function, insulin function, every B vitamin, vitamin D, every hormone, every thyroid marker, pretty much every marker in the book. Because usually that tells a story of, of where a person's energy is failing them. And uh, then you know what to target, right? So I, I and I mean, I mean, there's there's more too. On the hormonal side, it's obviously test. On the adrenal hormone side, it's aldosterone and cortisol. All those things can be awry. So those things should be the targets first in looking at optimizing energy function. Um, I have like you know, consider myself largely healthy, but I, I recently brought in a very high potency multivitamin uh, from Life Extension. It's two a day, but it's like it has 
chromium, selenium, all the Bs, handful of other things, boron, um, just a ton of ton of stuff in it. And it actually took my energy from where it was, which was good, to to making it higher most of the day, um, assuming all else is correct. So don't shoot for nothing, and don't assume that optimizing your baseline means optimizing receptor function. Uh, you know, it's just it's just it's just shooting for nothing. You really have to dig deeper into finding out what exactly causes what you think is a is a suboptimal baseline. You have to like think from the perspective of I'm going to identify what those things are, either on blood work or through research based on my symptoms. Like really go deeper into that. It's not as simple as just like, you know, optimizing baseline is a matter of just optimizing receptor function because you can take nine MEBC. As a, as a good example for dopamine receptor function and like on, in the literature it should be upregulating a bunch of dopamine receptors and if your problem isn't solved it's not that right it's, it's other elements of energy baseline don't shoot for nothing know exactly what you're shooting for when trying to fix like baseline energy issues because uh, the best way to get responses from nootropics consistently is obviously to switch between different systems, but to have a really good baseline. You can only do that if you investigate exactly what's causing you to not have great energy all the time um, or most of the time. Hope that makes sense. Thanks so much for watching. Um, guys, remember, the Cortex Auto Ship is live. We got some sign up so far, and um, we just want to have everybody that like usually buys Cortex go do Auto Ship. It knocks the price down about six bucks. Oh no, it's like seven or eight bucks. Normally it's 35 bucks um, for a bottle. It takes it down to 27.99. Um, the greatest thing about auto ship is it just, it just auto processes and then auto ships to you. Those of you that rely on Cortex and use it a lot, just sign up for auto ship. Do it at livecortex.com on the Cortex buy page. This is basically how it looks. It just gives you um, an option for either one-time purchase or subscribing for 27.99 a month. Can't go wrong with Cortex auto ship. Uh, do that at livecortex.com. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Talk to you next time.